a little insight what that means. A son of God, come on somebody. Being a son of God, reaching to the level of sonship, is knowing, come on somebody, I don't want you to understand, knowing when you reach the level of sonship, sonship, you now know, hallelujah, that all that God has and all that God is belongs to you. Amen. Somebody, I listen. Hallelujah. And why? Come on, somebody. I'm my God. Your children. Come on, somebody. Your children, they know that my God, that I can go to mommy, I can go to daddy. I, I have a place in the house. I have access, my God, to all the blessings and the benefits that are in the house. Come on, somebody. Because, hallelujah, I know that I'm an heir. Can someone say an heir? And this is the reason why the Bible teaches that we are joint heirs. Can someone say joint heirs? Joint heirs with the Lord and Timothy. You know what it means to be a joint heir? You know what it means to be a joint heir? Come on, somebody. In law, there is something that is called, my God, there is something that is called um, joint tenancy. And what is joint tenancy? Joint tenancy, it is if two persons is in joint tenancy for a property, I want you to understand that each person has equal share. Each person has equal share to that property. What is joint tenancy also? Come on, somebody. Joint tenancy it is if one of the persons who are joint, uh, a joint tenant to that and contract to that agreement. When one, if one die, all goes to the other. Somebody, I listen. So, my when the Bible said that we are joint heir, come on, somebody. I want you to understand, hallelujah. It simply means that all that God has and all that God is, it belongs to us. Come on, somebody. And somebody, we are talking spiritual. All that God has and all that God is, it belongs to you because you are a joint heir with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And my God, listen to this about it. I want you to understand something and go even further than that. Why the Bible said joint heir with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Come on, somebody. Remember I told you just now that if one of the tenants in a joint, in a joint, my God, in a joint tenancy die, all goes to the other. You can remember I said that to you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the reason why the testator had to die. So Jesus, Jesus would have said to his disciples, he said to them, the things that I am doing, this you will do, and, and much more. Because he said, but I have to go. <laughs> I have to listen to somebody. The, the, the will, come on to me. A will cannot be perverted or infected until the, 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 the testator, the one who wrote the will, is dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That there is some things that will will to us because the testator died for us so that we can have it. Come on to God. Hallelujah. But you know what? Come on to God. We have to obey the will. You can come on to God. At the state, your, 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 your mother, your father can die and leave the will for you. But the will can be of no use to you if you don't know what the effect or you don't know the benefits or you don't know the blessings of that will. Hallelujah! And unless you take up that will and say, I'm going to prepare that will. I'm going to prepare that will and make sure that I have legal documents stating now that I am the rightful owner of this will. I want you to it is time that the church rise up and prepare that will. Hallelujah! It is time that my God that we take advantage of that which God has done for us. Hallelujah! Sometimes we allow you to come on somebody. You know, you know, in, in the Bible, in the Bible, it's Paul who says.
said that we can make the dying of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in vain? It is because we don't understand the reason for his death. You see, my God, listen to somebody. Paul said at one time, I would like to know him how in the power of his resurrection. Can someone say the power of his resurrection? You know, one time Paul said, I would like to know him in the fellowship of his suffering. But then he said, I would like to know him in the power of his resurrection. How many of us know him in the power of his resurrection? How many of us, come on, we can talk about that. I can talk about that for the rest of the year. The power of his resurrection. Come on, the power of his resurrection. When you begin to talk about the power of Jesus' resurrection, before Jesus died, he said, what was the last word he said on the cross? Father, it is. Father, it is. Have you ever studied what it meant that it is finished? It is completed. The Greek tells you it is completed. What was completed? And what was completed? Praise the, the purpose of God. The, the God, my God, I want to go a little further. Thank you, thank you, my brother. What was completed? It is God's original purpose for us. And what was God's original purpose for you? God's original purpose for you. Praise the name of the Lord. What God gave to Adam and Eve? He gave them what? Dominion. Can someone say dominion? Dominion is also authority. Can someone say authority? And the, the authority that they had was based on God's promise or spoken word. Come on, somebody. So somebody... You see, I want you to understand, when we talk about divine favor, the favor of God, the favor of God means divine approval. Can someone say approval? And approval, it is that which God has already established for you. You now have the approval to use it. Hallelujah! Somebody, are you listening to me? Oh, Brother, but the church seems to have moved away from that program. Come on, somebody. And we are not using the authority that God has given to us. Come on, somebody. So we allow the devil to do what he wants, when he wants, how he wants. And my God, we mope and we moan and we, and we cry. Come on, somebody. We cry for our children. We cry for our loved ones. My God, I want you to understand. It is time to take authority. Hallelujah. Right 
الكتاب وراك انت تعمل وراك انت تعمل يتكع في الكتاب وتربها كل يوم حاول تكون كام هاللويا 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 Mountains be dowry, move and be cast into the sea. And what will happen? 
the mountain terrible group. Now listen to somebody. We only see that based on our situation and things that we are being confronted with and situation that we are being confronted with in our homes, in our jobs, and that sort of thing, or what you know, that that's literal. When you study the Bible, it's literal. If you have a, if you have true faith, as small as a grain of mustard seed, you can watch the mountain and tell the mountain to be removed and the mountain to move from its place. Somebody, are you listening to me? Come on, are you listening to me? I want you to understand my God. A, a perfect example of that it is Jesus looking at the storm and telling the storm stand still and have to listen. A perfect example of that it is Jesus looking at a fig tree and Jesus is tell, telling the fig tree. Jesus cursed the fig tree and what happened to the fig tree? It dried up. Somebody, I want you to know my God. That is how powerful fear is. Hallelujah! Faith can back up. Faith can cause all that the doctors tell you to become no more. Amen. The doctors are saying that you have cancer. I want you to understand, my God, your faith in, in the word of God, that by his stripes you are healed. I want you to understand, if you have that faith and know that by his stripes you are healed, you will be healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody. Praise the Lord. Can someone say praise the Lord? Can you stand to your feet? As we take up this morning's offering, praise the name of the Lord. Can the, can the, can the technician just return there? Or praise the Lord. Eh? Praise the Lord. Can someone say praise, praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Is there, is anyone controlling up there? Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord.